Hello and welcome to Out of Spec Motoring. We are in a Tesla Model Y performance, not just any Tesla Model Y performance. Brian from i1 Teslas. We are at the Charlotte Supercharger, charging up to 100% here, and we're going to do a range test of Model Y performance on the 21 inch wheels. Yes, we're gonna do that with only only 44 miles on the car. <laughs> That's right, it is brand new. So let's, uh, we'll get this thing charged, completed at 100%. We'll drive it from Charlotte to the Henderson Supercharger. Uh, if there's a little bit left, we may go up and down the exit there, just a small little bit, charge it up at the Supercharger, and then we're gonna hit the racetrack for another video. Oh, of course, <laughs> maybe more. We'll do some more videos too. That's right. <laughs> We're at 98% pulling 11 kilowatt, which is really not bad for that state of charge. Let's see where we're going. So you can see we're gonna start here, go all the way up to Henderson. It's only 167 miles. The car's predicting a 27% arrival. Uh, so we may have a little bit left over. We'll just go up and down a few exits to drain it down to maybe 5%, and then we can extrapolate the rest of the data on not only consumption, but battery pack capacity when new. Is it the same as Model 3 long range? We'll find out. So let's talk testing procedures. Obviously we're out on the open road, but we're gonna go 70 miles per hour. Yes. Which is typical US speeds um, yeah, for highway so. only. Now, in, if you're in the city, you'll get a lot more range than what we're yeah, about to do. definitely. For sure. Um, but um, yeah, 70 miles per hour, what's your prediction on consumption with the 21s? Well, this thing thinks we're gonna get there with uh, 20, what is it, 28%. I think we're gonna be around 17% when we get there. If, you know, it depends on back right. and forth. Uh, the watt hour per mile, I have no clue. These tires, again, they are the 21s, so who knows? Yeah, my guess is 330 watt hour per mile and a 16% arrival. That's just Sounds a guess, we'll good. see. We'll see. Yeah, so we're gonna just try and stick at 70. We'll try and keep no car in front of you um, so that you can just push all the wind out of the way. Okay. And that that's how we're gonna do it. Autopilot at 70 the whole way. Yep. Might take a little while at that speed. Don't, don't take some time. <laughs> but we're doing it for the viewers. Yep. As is always the case, it takes a while to complete charging. We'll probably get out of here soon if it doesn't complete. Um, we're also running the fan, which could delay it from completing charging. One thing I do want to point out, it is warm today. Optimum road tripping temperature. So this is going to be 70 miles per hour, no vehicle in front, no aero advantage, and uh, range test of Model Y on 21 inch Uber turbines. Here we go. We have finally completed at 100%. Brian just unplugged. Let's see what it shows for miles. It probably just pegs at 280. Yep, yep. but we're on the high side of 280. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's do 70 all the way. We won't 30%. waste time. I think you should go 68 auto, whatever you're comfortable with. Yeah. Okay. And uh, so that way we're kind of set and it's warm out. So yeah, it's very warm out. Uh, blast in the fans. Yeah. All right, enjoy your drive. I will. I'll be behind you in that. speed this is a gps accurate doesn't come up so great but he's doing exactly 70 this car thinks we're doing 71 uh but that's because i switched the wheels and haven't changed them internally i still have the 20s on it not the 18s that i have on this car uh, that is pretty sweet
problem. The Model Y is too efficient. I'm not gonna share any numbers yet, but it's staggering how good it is, at least in the beginning part of this trip. No wind, flat elevation. Um, we're gonna get to the supercharger with 40%, which means we'd have to really keep driving a lot to drain this battery. I really wanna see battery pack capacity and that's really what I want to see from here. But we'll get a good idea of the consumption at least. I just want to get to the racetrack too and rip around. And to me, that's more important than the range. So we'll see what we can do. I, I, 40% is not enough to extrapolate the battery capacity uh, remaining. So we may have to do that another time. But it's also cool to do it on a fresh pack. I don't know. We'll see. We'll keep. We'll, we'll, I'm not sure what we'll do, but uh, it looks really good going down the road. Sits flat and solid. I love that thing. A little bit of change of plans here. We were going to go to Henderson and then over to the out of spec track. But what we're gonna do now is stretch it a little farther on this charge to Rocky Mount and go up 95. It is a little bit longer distance, but shorter time. And it will allow us to drain the Model Y's battery pack to a projected 17% arrival, where then we can really get a little bit of a better idea on battery capacity, because then it does not make, uh, add too much time to just drive it down to 5% or so. So that is a good plan. What's crazy is both cars are predicting the same percentage arrival. Uh, it's kind of funny. This drive has taken forever. I, you know me, I'm normally ripping it from charger to charger, not going this slow. Uh, our consumption has been incredible. We've had a slight tailwind uh, most of this drive, so that should make that a little bit more efficient than it actually is, but only at like a two or three mile per hour, not a big, not a big tailwind. Um, let's see, we are at 25%, we'll probably get there at 23, 24 cars expecting 25. I wonder what that Model Y is at. I really have no idea, but we'll see in a little bit. Brian, I am tired of driving 70 yes. miles an hour. <laughs> yeah, so too. I don't think we'll run it all the way down to zero, but we got a great idea of the consumption. So with a small tailwind, tire pressure's at 47-ish. They're a little yeah, bit bumped up, um, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. We got 270 watt hour per mile. That, I mean, on 21s, that's crazy. I really thought we were going to do, at best, 325. Yeah, I thought we'd be in the threes, no question. You guys need to look at this. Take a look at this. You can see here a very consistent speed, a little bit of hills moving around. 212 miles, we used 57 kilowatt hours. There's 62 miles remaining. If we go and take a look at energy remaining, there's 22% left in the pack. We just don't have the time to run it all the way down to zero to get a true energy battery pack test, but it looks like it's right on par. I'll put in some math at the end of this video. And man, this is crazy. This is gonna be so good on 18s. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> it's just gonna go yeah. forever. Especially light ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is way better than I thought. Although we were just doing the speed limit at most of the times, it was 70 miles an hour for a lot of it. And, uh, but autopilot handled great. I mean, I mean, it's a Tesla, but this is a very efficient Tesla for a bigger Tesla. It's arguably almost as efficient as a three, if not more so. My car, just for reference, did 234 watt hour per mile on the 18s following you, but you were pushing the air out of the way most yeah. of the time. Yeah. So that's why, but wow, cool. And for those of you who have stuck around, I appreciate it. Let's talk about the battery pack, total usable energy. And it's actually pretty interesting. So obviously the best possible way to check 
energy, something I was trying to do today, but we ran out of time, is to go 100% and drain that sucker down to zero and look at the energy you pull. This is really the only true way to measure degradation. Of course, you need to minimize heat losses, keep the speeds low, not use so much AC and heat. So we did everything pretty good today. And so we did have 22% battery remaining. Now our calculations are based off of what the car imagines is left in the battery. It's a new car, it's probably pretty accurate, but new cars have hidden buffers at the bottom of the battery. So we weren't able to drive this thing until it ran out. However, we were able to confirm one thing. When we parked the car, we had 61 miles of rated range remaining, according to the screen. We averaged about 270 watt hour per mile. So if I multiply 61 times 0.270, I'm <laughs> referencing my notes on the board here, we had 16.47 uh, kilowatt hours left in the battery. This is what the car was imagining. So if I add that to the 57 kilowatt hours we already used, we had a total pack capacity of 73.47 kilowatt hours. All I was curious about was, is the pack the same? Model 3, 74 kilowatt hours. Yes, the packs are the same. So we have about 74 kilowatt hours usable out of a brand new Model Y. It'll be interesting to track the degradation on this car as Brian road trips it and charges it with DC fast charging, it goes crazy. Um, so we didn't do it true. Obviously we were off by maybe a little bit of a percent or not, but as best as my calculations can get it, we had 73.47 kilowatt hours usable in that battery pack, fresh day one. And so we'll be able to track degradation based off of that number. That is really the only true way to track degradation. Everything else is just a guesstimate. And even this is because we had that 22% pulling in with, and we don't know how much of that hidden buffer the car would have let us drive in. So sorry for it not being totally accurate there. And so with that capacity remaining, it would leave a total range of 272 miles on a full charge in Model Y, long range, dual motor performance with the 20 inch wheels. Keep in mind this car is rated differently for 19 inch and 20 inch wheels than the 21s. So we have 18s and 19s. Maybe we'll do a range test on it. Maybe we will, who knows, we'll see. Thanks for watching Out of Spec Motoring. You'll be seeing us drifting around Model Y here shortly. Please subscribe and I'll see you soon. Have a good one.